This is Black Hills Fox Sports. Hello, everybody. It's an exciting night in the world of Legion Baseball. We had the battle of the parking lot as Post 320 hosted Post 22. Fans bundled up out there at Pete Lean Field tonight in the second inning. Post 22 threatening with two on. Nolan Williamson comes up with the big pitch as he gets the called third strike. The Hard Hats did score a run on an infield hit. So Aiden Roberts then at the plate for post 22. He goes the other way and shoots one into right field. This ball gets to the wall. Two runs come in to score as Roberts makes it all the way to third with a triple. Three nothing now. Carter Johnson gives it a ride deep to center. This ball goes gets to the wall. Aiden Roberts crosses the plate on the double as post 22 putting together a big inning. Hayden Holick then lines the pitch down the left field line. This is a fair ball and it's trouble headed for the corner. The double brings in Alex Dietrich. Dietrich drove in five runs on three hits himself and the hard hats roll to a big 18 to nothing victory tonight. Now in the world of high school baseball, Stevens and Pierce split a doubleheader. The Raiders won game one, six to nothing and dropped a tight game two, two to one. Hot Springs and Lee Deadwood are also squaring off. That game is still going and it's a good one. In the sixth inning, the Bison lead it 11 to 10. And boys tennis, Stevens picked up a nine nothing victory over Central today. The Raiders finished the regular season with a 12 and 11 duels record. Fishing is starting to pick up across the region. Andrew Lynn has some tips you can use to help you reel in a big old fish. You don't have to own an expensive rod or reel to enjoy a day out fishing. It's as simple as going to Walmart and spending $20 on a dozen worms and a little fishing pole with a pack of bobbers and hooks and a split shot. That being said, rod and reels range in price from beginners all the way to experienced fishers. But this way has proved to be the easiest. You place your rod at 45 degrees in a V-shaped holder. And then you just wait and watch the tip of your rod. And when it bounces, you've got a fish. And with this method here, I have never been skunked. The Black Hills is loaded with places to fish, whether you prefer to be on the shore or on the water in a boat. Popular spots in Rapid City include Memorial Park, Rapid Creek, and Canyon Lake Park. However, there are plenty of other spots in and around the hills. There's a lot of good shore fishing up at the Belfouche Reservoir from the channel to the Fruitdale side around golf course. Uh, a lot of accessibility. Same with Angostura down around Hot Springs. When you get there, Here's what you should be looking for. Gravelly shorelines, uh, maybe points to kind of fish off. Look at different contour maps of the lake. Make sure you have a South Dakota state fishing license too. It's illegal to fish without one. What's okay at one lake may not be okay at another. And one fish that's legal to take at one lake, them regulations change, so that's always a good thing to look. If you ever have questions about fishing, Wild Walleye Outfitters of Sturgis is a great place to start. South Dakota Game Fish and Parks also has numerous resources. Reporting in the Black Hills, I'm Andrew Lund. Thank you, Andrew. Great time to get out there and do some fishing. NBA playoffs. Celtics beat the Cavs 120 to 95 tonight. Lead that series one game to none. Twins lost to the Mariners 10 to 6. Rockies lost to the Giants 5 nothing. That's a look at sports.